It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Minnesota Vikings and the Arizona Cardinals coming up next. Some of those in the silver-haired community would say it's a great day for golf, and it is, don't get me wrong, but we say it's a great day for football, and the roof is wide open here in Glendale at State Farm Stadium. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, and Charles kickoff moments away. Quickly, what are you watching in this one? The offensive line for both teams, because both teams have a terrific pass rush. They've got to keep their passers upright. If they have a chance to do that, they can both thrive on offense and move the ball downfield. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Vikings offense making their way out behind their former number three overall pick, who spent his last year as a 49er. It's Sam Darnold. And he's still been looking for that one situation to allow all of his talents to come together. He's hoping that he found it here. Plenty of playmakers on the outside and a team that's willing to run the football to let his talent shine. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. That's to about the 28, second down coming up. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be. But in this case, there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. Kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv and you run into a tough crowd. Second down, another shot for Jones. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. Two yards on the first down carry and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. Now Darnold setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Ryan Wright. And back deep is DJ Dallas. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The Cardinals offense heading out, and they do so behind Kyler Murray, their dynamic quarterback in his sixth season now from Oklahoma. And now that he's back at full health, they're expecting Kyler to get back to being the superstar playmaker that they drafted. Make no mistake about it, when he's fully healthy, there aren't many quarterbacks who are as dynamic as he is. And if he's able to stay on the field, this team has a real chance to make some noise. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. After the incompletion, they'll try once more from the 20-yard line on second and 10. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 12 yards to pick up. Good enough for an Arizona first. That's a very nice game there. A confidence-building run. Love the execution up front. And the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Murray now. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 
It's a 10-yard pickup, and that's enough to move the chains. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. On first and 10 is counter. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. Connor going to get it again on second down. And he's got it across the midfield stripe and into Viking territory. Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? They'll try and run for it with Connor. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. On third and short, they'll try option left. And they needed two. They could only get one. Fourth down. No score after one on EA Sports. Back in Arizona, second quarter action. It's the Cardinals in possession as they've got it with fourth down and one. They're going for it. It's Murray. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. So the drive stays alive after the fourth down conversion. First and ten inside the 30. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray. That ball caught by Harrison. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10. And mark him at the 5. 23 yards, the final tally. It's all pretty simple sometimes, isn't it? Go where the defenders are not. And he does exactly that. Makes a nice catch to move the chains. Defense, got to find a better way of accounting for the shorter routes that are being run against them. Here we go now on first and goal. They'll run here with Connor. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. This offense has a lot of weapons, but you know they like to look Connor's way down here near the end zone. He's got that rugged running style, and that's a nice job there to hold him to a short pickup. Second and goal from the one. Murray going to throw. He's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Marvin Harrison, Jr. 
a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Cardinals post the first points of the ballgame as they take the lead here in this second quarter. So second and goal there from the one, they go to the air. And the perfect down to throw the football in this sequence. Second down is always kind of the, do they throw it, do they run it? They worked it out to perfection on that one by throwing it into the end zone. Extra point good by Prater, and it's now a 7-0 game. So that drive spans 13 plays, and the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. Faking the give, Darnold. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And they work this well upfield across the 45. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Yeah, that's a nice pickup there, especially when it comes on the heels of a three and out the first time you have the ball. They were determined to not have that happen again. And that's a nice throw for their first first down of the game. Now a first down carry by Jones. Gets past one man. And he's got a first down as he's going to be taken down. But a very nice pick up there just in front of the two-minute warning. Back to throw, Darnold. Caught on the right side by Jones. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. He felt the pressure coming there. That was a good job of just making something out of nothing, so to speak. Yeah, took the hit and still made the play. You know, when we talk about runners, all right, and on running plays, runs after contact, we call that getting dirty yards, tough, gritty ones. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. Ballon Nichols in there to take him down. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's really a difficult task. Here's third and three. Darnold now to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. I can assure you, setting up a screen is much more difficult than it appears. It requires excellent timing from everyone on the offense, and a defense's number one goal is to throw that timing off. Now the Vikings will send out the special teams crew here for a field goal try. From the right hash, this from 48. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. Well, still trailing here, but they do get the late field goal. Now their defense will try to keep this score right where it is, heading into the locker room. Yeah, and trailing it to break, you obviously don't want to go in off of a negative play. Give them credit for that one. Finding a way to put points on the board. Give them any type of a spark, anything to build off of as they try and plan a comeback. The lead cut to just four as they kick it away and turn things over to their D. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. 
And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes back-to-back. -back. What a momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two-for-one without ever even giving up the football. So first and ten now from the 30 to throw is Murray. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Catch made right side by Wilson. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 12 yards to pick up. Good enough for an Arizona first. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. Shotgun now for Murray. It's brought in by Wilson. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Throwing again, Murray. Finding his target, it's Trey McBride. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Seems as if the passing attack's starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. Goes right back to McBride. Now the card's going to call another timeout, their second. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Got his man, it's Dorch. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash, this a 31-yard attempt. Prater's kick is good, and they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10-3. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. A final shot before the break. Darnold, he'll let this go deep for Sherfield. That one will be incomplete. He caught it, but could not stay in bounds for the long connection. So that P.I. call will give him one more play. And it'll be an untimed play as well. Now the half will end after this one, unless 
There's another There's defensive another penalty. And his kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a solid first half for the always dangerous Kyler Murray. He has a touchdown pass, and that amounted to the only touchdown of the game for either team thus far. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Cards with the lead, and they will get this football first as the second half gets started. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Cardinals ready to go here to start the third quarter. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Third quarter starts with a run from Connor. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. From the 32-yard line now, here's second and six. They'll stay on the ground with Connor again. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play. Things closed pretty quickly, didn't they? And how about the wrap-up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. Here's Murray. Screen pass to Connor. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. They give him seven yards on the play, and they do pick up the conversion on third down. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. Murray a give, this is Connor. And he's gonna take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be, but still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Here's second and seven. This is Connor running right. And he'll get maybe a couple, if that, up to the 46. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who could do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. There's Murray. A uh, short one here, caught by McBride. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Now Murray. Caught by Wilson. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Going right back to Wilson. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And I think as he began this throw, you saw that the area was congested. 
but he has a lot of confidence in his arm, and he fits that one in there nicely. They pick up the catch, not much yardage afterwards. Now a second and two. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Connor. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. 62 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Right back to Connor here on first. And he's able to get this inside the 10 now to the 9. Seven yards on the pick up there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. Second and three from the nine. It's Cardinal football. They're also out in front of the scoreboard as we get set for the fourth. Murray now to throw. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And the Cardinals are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. It'll be Murray on the keeper. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. Connor. Pushing his way into the end zone. Touchdown. And they would not be denied on the ground. Powering it in just one play after they got stopped short. And how about how many tight ends were on the field? Because in today's NFL, we think of the tight end more as a pass catcher. But this group, they tell them you've got to be able to run block to stay on this team. And they committed to it and got it done right there. Prater on to add the extra point. It's good, and now it's an 11-point lead, 17-6. to six. So that would a 13-play drive in total. And it was a touchdown run by James Conner that was the exclamation mark. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Short play like that in this situation, this late, that's a win for the defense. No doubt. I remember something Coach Madden used to talk about all the time. Sometimes you can't just take what the defense gives you. You have to take what you need. And in this case, the offense is taking what the defense is giving them, not what they need. And he will find his man on the outside. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. 
Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Finds his man. There's Jordan Addison. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 37. Addison does a nice job of moving the chains. He's coming off an impressive rookie season which he totaled over 900 yards and 10 touchdowns and helped fill the void as Justin Jefferson battled injuries a season ago. Addison, certainly a vital piece of this Vikings offense. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. This one brought in by Jefferson. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. But two timeouts still remaining, but scoring quickly, a must. It's first and ten. Darnold. He gets it to Addison. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Of course, remember, you need a touchdown here and a field goal. Doesn't matter the order, but they have to get it done and get it done fast. Here's first down. Darnold to throw. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Toward the pylon, caught. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeout as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. Now first and goal. Here's Darnold. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. So certainly some importance to this one now. After the touchdown, they could get this down to a field goal with a two-point conversion. Now Darnold. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And with it, they're back within a field goal. So a crucial two-point conversion there, but that's just part one of this two-part story that they need to happen here. Yeah, they do need to do a few other things, don't they? They got the two, as you noted. Now they've got to make sure they get the onside kick and hope to get into field goal range and maybe have one last miracle left. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's more than a two-part story. It's a three- or four-part story. So with under 30 seconds to play, this is the game right here. 
And this is going to be recovered by the hands team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics would tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. Down to a knee, here as the Cardinals look to let the clock roll. The Vikings gonna use their third and final timeout as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. Down to Anigo's Murray as that will just about wrap this thing up. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? <laughs> and the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. Well, you really can't ask for much more than what we just had here. Not only a close game that went down to the wire, Charles, but a clean one, too. No turnovers in this contest. And I think you're exactly right about that. To me, this is just a pair of offenses trying to find the slightest bit of separation from each other. And they were both hoping that the other side would make the big mistake first. But today, neither side made that mistake. And what we got, a very entertaining game throughout. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Cardinals as we say so long from Glendale.